Well, time is running out for thousands of state employees to avoid losing their jobs. Good evening, everyone. I'm Scott McDonald. I'm Ann Nyberg. State labor unions have been notified that layoffs are coming, but they will not come to the table despite pleas from Democrats, Republicans, and even the governor. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with word that the next big round of budget cutting will be coming from the legislature next week. Mark. Hi, Ann and Scott. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Yeah, there's no talking going on concerning givebacks on benefits. And the talks that are going on concerning wages are reported to be not going very well. As the Assembly moves toward cutting over $200 million from the current state budget in a vote next Tuesday, it appears the state labor unions will continue to stand firm against negotiating any givebacks or concessions for the budget year that starts July 1. While the labor unions themselves remain silent, the head of the state's AFL-CIO is making clear labor's position is that the legislature and the governor should be considering another tax hike on the wealthy and major corporations first. We had 40 millionaires saying to Governor Cuomo in New York, raise our taxes, we want to help out. So the idea that Connecticut, whose taxes on the uber wealthy are lower than New York, we should raise those taxes. But both the highest ranking Democrat in the assembly, Senator Martin Looney of New Haven, and the governor say there will be no tax hikes this time in solving the massive red ink because the state and nation are in the grips of a slow growth period that shows no signs of change. If there's a new economic reality, um, then everybody has to adjust to it. Um, and that doesn't mean anybody in labor is a bad person. I can't change the consequence of 1% GDP growth in the last quarter. There is bipartisan agreement that concessions from the state labor unions is the only way now to avoid layoffs. If we're not willing to have that discussion, the governor has no other choice but to look at layoffs. We do need our friends in labor uh, to see the new reality that's out there and the fact that uh, revenue is not coming in the way it did traditionally pre-recession. Now, even though it's a long holiday weekend starting tomorrow over at the state capitol, we're told that staffers are going to be working on the latest round of budget cuts so that they'll be ready for legislators to vote on on Tuesday. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8. And the state budget crisis affecting many areas. Just today, state officials announcing that two centers for people with intellectual disabilities will be closing at the end of June. Residents will be re relocated to other centers. Unions blasting the decision, saying that it's detrimental for clients. The two centers closing are the Elo Grasso Regional Center in Stratford and the Meriden Regional Center. For all these stories we've been covering on this budget crisis, you can head to our website, WTNH.com. 